It's Local Edition on Brad Pomerantz. Thank you for joining us again. Our guest is Henry Waxman. Mr. Waxman is a member of the United States Congress. He is also chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee. And last summer, you spent a lot of time getting a bill out of the House, the Clean Energy Bill. A lot of pride behind that. Talk to us about the basic contours of that legislation. That legislation was landmark legislation because we attempted to do three things. Mm -hmm. Reduce our dependence on foreign oil, which is a national security matter reduce the carbon emissions that are causing a great deal of damage to our environment through global warming and all the consequences of it. And thirdly, and maybe one of the most important things, get jobs created in the, it, because of the investment in new ways of providing renewable fuels and efficiency in our energy uh, system. It, it's my perception as a journalist that the House, although it's tough to get legislation passed, gets it done. The majority is able to get bills through. It takes a little time. The Senate, it gets very bogged down. Mm -hmm. uh, the filibuster is used very effectively. Mm -hmm. And legislation like the one you just described hasn't even been heard right. in the Senate. Why is that happening and how does that make you feel? Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes me feel like I wish they'd get on to yes. the energy bill. Yeah, I hear you. But the, the, the health care debate has dominated the Senate so much that they haven't gotten to the energy bill. But in some ways, that health care debate is going to help us on energy. Really? Because we need a bipartisan Senate bill. And we've got uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican from right. South Carolina, Senator Joe Lieberman, an independent, and Senator John Kerry, a Democrat leading the effort in the Senate to put together the legislation that can pass and get 60 votes. Yet, Lindsey Graham, by no means a liberal Republican, was yeah. lambasted by his own party, by the talk radio noise, for getting on board. Yeah, isn't that so, something? Isn't that a commentary on things? Where he's trying to do something constructive, and he'll point out that the most important thing to him is that it's our national security at stake. When we have to import so much oil, we become so dependent on these tyrannical powers that we have to go hat in hand to to get our oil. So he ought to be commended, not condemned, but there's such rigidity in the, in the base of the Republican Party. They don't like to see a Republican show any independence. But he said to me, the fact that Republicans have been block step against health care, he thinks will help him get more Republicans to recognize that he, they can do something in this area. Recently, we've had um, Republican elder statesmen like Alan Simpson, uh, mm -hmm. a senator from Wyoming, yeah. Newt Gingrich, former speaker. They have said the Republicans need to play ball. Do you believe, I know you can't speak for them, but do you believe these words are being heard? Is the party of no, as some pundits call them, going to continue to say no? Uh, you must be friends with some of the Republicans. Yes. What are you hearing? Yes. Well, they have a fundamental choice to make. They can be the party of opposition and just say, I'm against whatever the Democrats want. And then if the Democrats fail, they can say, turn to us because they were failures. Or they could work uh, on at least some issues on a bipartisan basis and get some things done for the country. And if they say no, it pleases their base, and it may benefit them because people get frustrated and get scared, and they say, they say the Democrats are trying to create socialism or whatever. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I think after a while the public will say, what do the Republicans stand for? Why should we turn to them when they haven't given us proposals on how they would deal with these problems? How are you, as part of the Democratic leadership, going to perpetuate that message? Uh, a lot of noise on the left, the Democratic left, that finally we have a progressive president from the Democratic Party, we have a Congress that's Democratic, but all the Republicans need is 37 seats to take back the House, 10, 11 seats to take back the Senate, and some people believe that that could happen. Well, it may. The voters will make a decision in November. what are you November. doing to make sure it doesn't happen well, as a Democrat? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not playing the politics game. I'm trying to get important legislation through, and I wish we could do it with Democrats and Republicans in the interest of America. Okay, Henry Waxman, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. You Thank bet. You. For Local Edition, I'm Brad Palmer, and it's back to HLN. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.